Vote by mail will not expand in Texas. Thanks for joining us, everyone. That's after the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit stayed a preliminary injunction today to expand vote by mail due to the coronavirus pandemic. So how does that impact our runoff election next month? KMR Local Force Kaylee Green has the latest from your local election headquarters. Stop Top our news tonight at 10. To receive a vote by mail ballot in Texas, a person must either have a disability, be 65 years or older, be out of the county during the voting period, or be confined to jail without a felony conviction. Potter County Elections Administrator Malin Huntley and Shannon Lackey in Randall County are hoping this will not affect turnout during the pandemic. There are still options like curbside voting that have a, you know, in the same way we can protect their health and they can still be able to vote. Huntley says curbside voting will be much slower, but it's a good alternative. If someone doesn't feel comfortable coming in and they've passed the deadline to request a mail ballot, we can take a machine out to their car. There will also be social distancing measures put in place to keep workers and voters safe. We're separating as much as we can our tables by six feet. So your check-in table will be six feet apart, and then your election equipment will be six feet apart. And so in some places, that means that there will not be as much voting equipment in this election. Election, but that should still function because both ballots are short and we will still be able to get people in and out. They have purchased gloves, made plexiglass barriers, bought cleaning supplies, and much more to keep voting booths sanitized. It's almost our trial run for November. We, we have what we think we need, what we, we hope will keep everyone safe. We're doing everything that we can possibly think of to do that because that is our main goal. Early voting for the July 14th runoff begins June 29th and has been expanded to last through July 10th. Randall County Elections Administrator Shannon Lackey rather says ballot by mail applications must be received by July 2nd. Live in studio, Kaylee Green, KAMR Local 4 News. Jackie. The Texas Democratic Party, Kaylee, has come out against the court's decision today. Meanwhile, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton praised the court's decision.